eased off a little. So Watson in lane two, Borley in lane one, Gus McQuaig in lane five. But very evenly matched all these six sprinters. Buster Watson follows much of uh, Alan Wells' training technique. He trains on the punch ball, speed ball work. He got away to a good start too. And uh, he's trying to close the gap on Heimrath. Heimrath is holding it. Heimrath in lane three is uh, sprinting very well. Gus McQuaig is having a good run. And now Watson coming through and suddenly we're in the lead. And two white shirts are beginning to show. And this is a fine run. Buster Watson going for the line and Gus McQuaig is chasing him. And that's a rarity. One and two for Great Britain. Heimrath is third and Borley is fourth. And they've taken some good names there. Buster Watson powered his way, and again he's got a fast time in not very favourable weather conditions. 21-1, and, and that's got to be a personal best because it wasn't wind-assisted, and I should think it was for Gus McQuaig as well. What a good pairing. Two new internationals against good Belgians, against good East Germans, and they come through one and two. Well, he got a fine start, did Watson. He had a good... Uh, German to pull on, that's Heimrath in lane three, who's run a splendid bend. The dark vest coming into the crown of the bend, but McQuaig ran a good bend too. They're level, and suddenly Boston, uh, Buster Watson finds another gear and gets ahead, and look at that powerful arm stroke. He really is very strong. So too is McQuaig. If anything, McQuaig was closing the gap, so a fine one and two, then the East German, and then Jacques Borley. Buster Watson, who runs for the Blackheath Club, 24 years of age, and he...